Hello, and welcome to B-Movie Euphoria's special video series review of all of the movies made by IRS Video. Either produced or distributed by IRS Video, I am going to watch all of those movies. Oh, IRS started out as a record company producing acts like Wall of Voodoo and Let's Active and General Public and all of the insane R.E.M., okay, whatever, all of the great 80s bands that you love, New Wave, Post-Punk, Dance, just some of the most seminal bands of the 80s, like the Go-Go's, these were all bands produced by IRS Records. Apparently they made enough money throughout the 80s that they could just produce a shit ton, or roughly around 40, movies. All the way up until 1996, until they went bankrupt, the first movie that we're going to do is a little film called Wedding Band. Dun dun dun! So Wedding Band is from 1989, and it stars William Cat, the star of House. The American House. The American House, not the wacko no. 70s Japanese house where... There uh, are no pianos or cats in the American House. There might be a cat. Actually, there might be a piano. There's not nearly as many as there are in the Japanese version one. Day. Yes. Uh, house, the American version, is very good. It had three to four sequels, depending on uh, where you live. William Catt was also in Greatest American Hero, which was a, a TV show, show that was huge in the 70s. He plays, in Wedding Band, the leader of a band called the... Shakers. The Shakers. And... They're not just any band. They're a wedding band. And he knows 73 songs. 73 songs. He says that about... Five times in the movie? At least 73 <laughs> times. <laughs> the special thing about this being an IRS movie is that they can use all of the music that IRS ever produced and this band can sing it. I'm hearing all these incredible songs like Mexican Radio by uh, Wall of Voodoo or Tenderness by The Beat, the English Beat, and it's just this wedding band singing it. So it's incredible for me. It's it's a very great experience, despite this movie not being so great. It was not, <laughs> but the soundtrack slaps. Yes, the soundtrack is very good. The covers of the songs aren't terrible, I wouldn't say. I would go so far as to say they are good. I don't know if William Cat actually sang any of them. Okay, but they had really good choreography for oh, a yeah. wedding band. Well, let's talk about the wedding band, because... We have a very young, possibly his first movie, Polly Shore, mm -hmm. as the bass player. So it opens up with them at a wedding. The whole movie takes place at different uh, racial stereotyped weddings. So if that's something that's going to bother you, and it should, maybe uh, <laughs> don't watch this movie unless you're obsessed with watching all of the movies from IRS. Anyway. A different time. Yeah, a very different time. The first mo the first wedding is an Italian wedding, so we get a scene uh, which is straight from The Godfather, where we have Joe Flattery playing a, a another Italian man talking to a fake Marlon Brando and saying, I come to you on the the something of my daughter's something. Somebody's something. He's disgraced my family. He's disfigured the, the reputation of my in-laws. He's dishonored my home. I ask your help in the revenge I seek. From Peter. You come here on the day of my daughter's wedding and ask me for a favor. Well, I don't get to this part of town that often. But basically that whole wedding is to show us that we have Marshall, William Catt, as the wedding singer, and we have Carla. Carla as his girlfriend, who is the wedding planner, and I guess she just goes to the weddings, too, and sits by herself, 
until, um, you know, concerned mothers bring their sons up to her and offer them as potential dates. Excuse me, young lady. I've been watching you sitting here by yourself. It's such a lovely party. I thought you might want to dance with my Billy. Ma, this is Billy. Hi. Carla and Marshall, they're not... They don't really have great chemistry at all. So... He doesn't seem to like her. No. She's constantly annoyed by his selfish decisions. Yeah. So she wants him to leave the band? She wants him to change his career so that she can have more time with him. Yeah. So that they can get married. Why she would want to marry this man is beyond me. <laughs> But she has made it her goal that she is going to marry him, and so the band's got to go. Can't we be alone? Sweetheart, these guys are the better part of my personality. Oh, great. Well, what about me? Uh, well, you're the other better part of my personality. She takes him out to a really nice dinner. Oh, God. A really fancy place. Um... She sets a little box on the table. Yeah, and this place, you know it's really fancy because all of the drinks and all of the meals have numbers instead of... Or, I guess that's the the bit? Yeah, that was the first joke that <sighs> had Nick audibly upset. So the, the waiter comes up and he's like, Oh, can I recommend you the number 11? Yeah. And so we think like, oh, okay, that's a cute bit and then he comes back and they continue ordering in these numbers and at number 120 i have a young chardonnay in fact it's so young it was almost number 119. uh we'll have a bottle of champagne uh the laurent perrier brew please what number is that number 23. ah 23 yes an excellent selection her name by the way Joyce? Yes. Joyce Killa or something? Yeah, so I know this actress from uh, Just One of the Guys. Joyce Heiser. Yes, Joyce Heiser was in this film called Just One of the Guys. I was going through puberty and it was all about a girl who dressed... she that girl? She's the girl that dressed uh... up as a guy. And at the end of the movie, she reveals to her, the guy that she's kind of grown to be attached to, she's like, look! And she just exposes her boobs and th that those were the first boobs i'd ever seen in a movie and i was just like her boobs are not in this movie no, but not. she does a phenomenal job she, uh, she does a good job with this movie being written just terribly but yeah she proposes to him the next day he comes to visit her when she's at work he gets hit on oh yes he gets hit on by some groupies that just happened to be at her place of business because they were at a different wedding he performed at mm -hmm. and so they're like actively hitting on him he is actively taking the bait he took the number like, like literally. five ten sorry ten feet away from his fiance he's just like oh yeah i'll take this 16 year old girl's number <laughs> okay maybe she wasn't 16 but she looked 16 <sighs> And so his fiance sees this and she's like trying to blow it off. And so they start going on what, like looking up wedding registry stuff. Yeah. And their computer talks to them, which I think is a very weird it's... 80s trope. But so he gets overwhelmed by this annoying computer and she. He faints. He faints. He faints dead away in a hilarious scene. Thank you. Great. Well, why don't we look through these catalogs and you can help me pick out some invitations. starts realizing he's not really invested in her how she's just now figuring this out um i'm not sure because they literally have no chemistry in this movie like you can't it's like two pieces well he, it's it's one piece of like just cord wood and then it's a very nice piece of like oak because she's pretty good. Mm -hmm. But they they do not connect. He just wants to be with the boys. Yes, he, he's totally like Saturdays are for the boys kind of guy. But the band itself is kind of deteriorating because Polly Shore 
wants to be in a punk band. A really loud, angry punk band. A super loud punk band that there's this great scene where they're playing in a garage. Oh, it's so good. Because they're a garage band. And the police come because all the angry neighbors have called the police. And so they come and they're like, hey, turn it down. And then Penelope Spheris, the director of Decline of the Western Civilization and uh, Wayne's World, comes out of the house and just gives the cops the business. <laughs> Busted again? What is going on here? Why did you boys stop rehearsing? And what are the police doing here? We got another complaint, man. Yeah, well, this is my house, and I give these boys my permission to rehearse their musical instruments on my property. But you can't disturb the whole neighborhood. Dude, we're just uh, playing music, man. What's wrong up? with my son playing his musical instrument when I hear your daughter banging away all day on the piano? Yeah. And I hear your yeah. kid playing his clarinet. Do I complain? No, he sounds like a parrot being raped. Carla moves on, and she, she's like, see you later, go strum your dick or something. So she goes to her best friend. Oh, yeah. Her best friend, Fran Drescher. Yeah. Oh, boy. She plays her friend that has a black book of men that she may or may not have dated. Uh, but they, she doesn't have any names. They're just their cars. The cars they drove. That they drove. <laughs> that they drove. And so she's like, oh, William Katz, a piece of shit, huh? Well, let's see what we got here. We got a DeLorean. <laughs> Fran Drescher sets her up with DeLorean Guy, who is also a pretty well-known actor. He was in a TV show called Sledgehammer. And in this, he's great. He's Sloan. He's Sloan. And nobody touches his DeLorean. <laughs> they go on a date to the same restaurant with the numbers. And he, you know, they're getting out of the car and a valet comes up. He's like, no, 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 no. Don't touch. No, no, no. Come on. <laughs> Upsy daisy. No, 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 don't, don't touch the car. Now, the reservation is in the name of Sloan Vaughn. Vaughn, the G-H, is not pronounced. I'll park it myself. Thank you. She's a peach, huh? Total dick. You can tell he's a dick because he orders for both of them because he has the numbers memorized. Oh, yes. So he's been to this restaurant, clearly, a, a lot. He's like, I, I will take the salad number 12 and she will have the 14. And, I mean, she seems like at least this guy knows what he wants because at this point she is so invested in her wedding registry <laughs> that she's just fine trying to find anyone that, anyone to marry it's kind of what it seems like because she hasn't told any of the guests because they've they've invited before william cat and or before marshall and carla broke up they invited like 200 people at least and they haven't told any of them that the engagement's over. And she's just like, well, I'm still going to have the party. So we switched back from her and DeLorean guy to the Ramblers. The Shakers. The Shakers. <laughs> Why can't I remember the Shakers? So we get to go to a bunch of weddings with the Shakers. It's just one wedding after another. We go to like a Chinese wedding. We go to a Jewish wedding. Um, and it's all over the top. And oh, the Romanian wedding was the worst. That was not great because there's like animals walking around and like a chicken and kids mar getting forced marriage of children. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Was the black wedding. Oh, yes. That was the one right after the Italian wedding. Yep. And it was just a nice wedding. I was waiting for a shoe to drop. Yeah. Some sort of, like, racial stereotype shoe to drop. 
It was just a nice wedding. It was just a nice wedding. <laughs> hey, just between you and me, don't you hate these affairs? Frankly, between you and me, I'm just here for the free meal. <laughs> hey, 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 shut up, man. Hey, just, we just, we're here for the same thing. <laughs> oh, yes. The one thing, the one running joke that was actually kind of funny throughout the entire movie was this older couple. Oh, yeah. That went to every single wedding in the movie. Just for the food. And they're just there for the food. And they're having a blast. They're living my dreams. What a lovely party. I wonder who got married. The bride and groom. <laughs> After you, my dear. Where's the buffet? Marshall realizes through the bad experience of the wedding tour where they're doing tons of IRS songs. Oh, I forgot one really good wedding was... The Amish, Amish wedding. wedding. Jim Belushi is the reverend. Mm -hmm. And he is, he's playing it completely straight. And they do a lot of like call and response in this wedding, which I don't know if that's actually how the Amish do it. Doesn't matter. But the band starts playing and, you know, all of the attendees are sitting down and eating food and Marshall is like, all right, let's get the bride and groom up on stage or up on the dance floor. And Jim Belushi responds, being kind of the head of this family, this town almost. He goes, we choose not to dance. And William Cat looks at the band. He's like, let's get them shaken. Mm -hmm. The shaker. <laughs> <laughs> That was probably the greatest scene. For me, I my heart went out to the movie. Um, all of the shitty, bad jokes and uh, weird clown jokes. A lot of strange clown jokes. So at one point, they're at another wedding, I think. and Or no, they're at a ceremony to honor Hugh Beaumont. And he gets like a belt for being a great manager. manager. That was really weird. Anyway, they point over at, like, the table of clowns, and they're talking about one of the clowns, and uh, the girlfriend's like, maybe he's a serial killer. <laughs> and he fucking turns to them like that, except he's dead-faced, and he's a clown. It's probably an axe murderer. <laughs> uh, the other weird scene is Eddie Deason comes in for, like, one scene to Hugh Beaumont's office and is like, I'm Eddie Deason! Look, Slappy. Sloppy. Excuse me, Sloppy. There is opportunity for a clown like you. The climate is good now. I'm going to tell you one thing. I don't want to waste my time on a client unless he can earn ten or $11,000 a year. Are you willing to make that kind of money? Yes. Eddie Deason is the only person that I see him not hire. Oh, okay. He hired the Badger Boys. Oh, the there's, Badger Brothers. There's also a great scene. <laughs> all of these scenes that Hugh Beaumont wrote for himself. Uh, he's hiring these two guys in either Badger or Squirrel outfits. because Badger they, or Chipmunk. Oh, yes. The Chipmunk Boys. And they choose Badger Boys because it's... Alliteration. BB. Yeah. And then they... They're, yes, that's very good. And uh, they get a job for 150 bucks. Not too bad. 160 bucks. You're cute. That's good. So what do you call yourselves? Uh, Badger brothers. brothers. Chipmunks. Badger Chipmunks. brothers. Chipmunks. Badger brothers. I like the Badger brothers. It's cute. Thank you. BB. It rhymes. Yeah. So the tour is kaput. Um, William Cat somehow realizes he misses his girlfriend who adored him and gave him a, a fucking huge we wedding She ring. is so out of his league, it is infuriating. <laughs> so he decides to go back, but his plan is really just... No, he doesn't even have a plan. He just 
fucking he's playing a wedding and she shows up and she's like, yeah, I guess I missed you. Yeah. And Sloane sucks. <laughs> Sloane is a dickhead. And Sloane says like a really bad gay joke and it's, ugh, and it's in the trailer. It's in the trailer. Oh man. The, the, <laughs> basically the, we get a happy ending, right? Yeah. Uh, William Cat as Marshall and is, and Carla they get together and they have the wedding happy ending, I guess. Growing my hair, you came along and stole my heart when you entered my life. Ooh, babe, you got what it takes, so I made you my wife. a really good soundtrack <laughs> it was a fantastic soundtrack um some people were great in it. it 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 was written horribly um directed just as badly but um yeah it, it, so something i'm noticing in irs movies because i've watched this one and i've watched a few that i will review in the future there's a this kind of alternate reality going on where it's not nothing feels very real and i think that's on purpose you know it's just a movie but there's something about these irs movies and i'm gonna find out what they are so stay tuned for the next in the series of all the irs films thank you brooke bruce for joining me in my pursuit of finding all the IRS movies. And thank you for watching. Have a good one, everyone. Like and subscribe. I heard the talking off the